Hey y'all, this cup guy here. Quick video. Just want to take this opportunity to go over a couple things that have been kind of irking me or irked me uh, recently. And the straw that broke the camel's back happened yesterday. So I'm going to try to make this quick. I mean, there's quite a few things. There are quite a few things to go over. But let me start out by saying th th these are some things that were written on Facebook by. Um, Billy Stallings, the spa guy, I guess he's the moderator with a coffee cup of his own channel uh, or his own, uh, I'm sorry, Facebook thing. Uh, but anyway, there's a few things I want to go over. And one thing that I'm going to bring up in a minute that kind of took me over the edge and I felt it necessary to do this video. So number one, let me just say this, okay? I am the Elvis cup guy. The word guy is at the end of it, Okay. I know what uh, what's his name is the spa guy, okay? I was the Elvis Cup guy in 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, okay? On YouTube, on YouTube. I will post a link at the in the description of this video, a link to my original YouTube channel, but it was inactive for so long that I had to, I had to, uh, create another new YouTube channel called the Elvis Cup Guy, but I think I put spaces in it. But I'm going to put a link to show you guys that I was the Elvis Cup Guy on YouTube back in 2005, 2006. What's that? 15, 16 years ago. I'm called the Elvis Cup Guy, the adventures of the Elvis Cup Guy, the Elvis Cup Guy on TV, the Elvis Cup Guy being interviewed about Elvis. I'll, I will put a link on and you can watch them. Now, let me get that. That's the first thing I want to talk about because the people said, well, you know, uh, uh, flattery is, the, or, or um, imitation is the best form of flattery. And you're the Elvis Cup guy, but he's the spa guy. Well, let me tell you something. I was the Elvis Cup guy in 2006 on YouTube. There weren't that many people that had channels on YouTube in 2006. But I did, and it was an Elvis channel, okay? Now, next thing, Facebook. I am not a member of Facebook, thank God. But somebody sent me this. Billy Stallings, Stallings, moderator. Okay, let me just read this, okay? And this is, not, I'm not making this up. Go to his, if you're lucky enough to be on his Facebook page and call him a friend. And notice I'm always careful. I don't say anything bad about this guy. Just that my copy written photo, my copyrighted photo, and never gave me credit, never did anything. In fact, let me just say this before I go into this Facebook thing. The whole thing started out four or five years ago when he used my photo right here. This is a copy of it. He used my photo in a video. He used my photo in a video he did. One of his first hit videos. Got, I don't know how many, 300,000 views. That's 30. Ten thousand, five, that ten, fifteen thousand dollars he made from YouTube by using this is a copy, my Elvis photo. All I did back then, four years ago, I've had people say, "Well, Wade, Elvis Cup guy, why don't you just let it go?" Well, you know what? I did let it go when he did it. All I did is I put a link to my YouTube video that I had made about the box set, A Boy From Tupelo by Sony, where Sony paid me to use that photo. And I put a link to it in the comment section of his video where he used my photo when he went to Poplar and stood right there, okay? This is a copy, like I said. Now, you know what he did? Paying me is not that, was not that a big deal at the time or not even an issue. But he wrote me and said, hey, I do not appreciate you advertising your video and your channel uh, in the comment section of my video. And I'm like, hold on a minute, bud. This is my photo you used. You didn't even give me credit. You could have said, hey, this is, my this is a photo from Wade Jones given to him by Janelle McCombe, but he didn't do it. I guess he wanted people to think that he discovered this. He didn't. And Graceland, the Graceland blog, is the one that discovered that this was not taken in Tupelo. It was taken in Memphis. So, anyway, 
when I complained to him, I said, dude, you use my photo and you're getting on to me about putting a link in the comment section of your video just to let people know where the photo came from. He said, well, no, okay, well, hold on. Uh, maybe we can do something here. Uh, I can tell you or I can show you how to get, how to buy viewers and to buy uh, uh, subscribers. And back then I wasn't thinking of monetization or anything or anything like that. I was just like, man, just forget it. Let it go. Well then, so that's why it was an issue. Not really getting paid. He never gave me credit. Never. Ever. And he, he refused to. And he had the audacity to say, I don't appreciate you putting a link to your photo on my video that I did about your photo which is, is unfathomable. It, it, it really is. Fathomable. Okay, sorry about that. So anyway, on his Facebook, now talk about slander. 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 He doesn't know me. He claims he owns a photo he sold on eBay. Well, I sold a copy of it. A copy. Here's a copy. You know, you can make copies of things. I sold a copy of this thing on eBay. He claims he owns a photo he sold on eBay. Well, I sold a copy. I have the original. And I claim I have it. What the hell did Sony buy from me? Huh? That's in the damn box set. Do you even own the box set, son? I doubt it. I've got three of them. Two USA versions and one Japanese version. Oh, you're a big fan, though. All right, so uh, I, he claims he sold on eBay, or he claims he owns a photo. Well, I own the damn photo, all right? I also suspect he might, I also suspect he might have not got this photo from Janelle McComb. Where in the hell did you go to school at? I also suspect he might have not got, how about how he may have not received this photo or not gotten this photo, but not have got, damn. From, okay, he may, I'll correct it for him. He may not have received this photo from Janelle McComb in an honest manner. What in the hell does that mean? That is slander, dude. D did I fly from Charlotte to Tupelo and take the photo from her? How about this? How about that we can agree, if you Google it, that Janelle McComb died, died on July 25th, 2005. Okay? Now, I claim to have gotten it two months after she died. Well, if I was going to make up a damn story, I think I would be smart enough to act like she gave it to me before she died, not after. How dumb do you think people are, son? Now, uh, uh, Alana Nash, who wrote the article for Vanity Fair, and it's right here. I printed all this stuff out by Alana Nash. Google it. Go to, just type in Vanity Fair, Wade Jones, Elvis, or something like that, and you'll see the article. There's my photo, okay? So, in 2005, when the late Janelle McComb, a Presley family friend from Tupelo, sent Jones a childhood picture of the future king of rock and roll, Jones was dumbstruck. I'm Jones, and I was dumbstruck, okay? You got it? Now, also, uh, Alana Nash wrote, Janelle McComb, who died two months after Mallet, told Jones in a phone call that the woman who took the snapshot was on her way to the drugstore to drop off some film to be, to be developed. She had one more exposure on the roll and just asked Elvis whom she knew to pose, but Jones didn't catch her name, okay? Janelle McComb, who died two months after mailing it. Okay, Janelle McComb died in July. July 25th, 2005. Well, being an Elvis fan, I save everything. Here's the Express Mail uh, uh, label from what she mailed me. Okay? There it is. Janelle McComb. D can you read that? It's faded. Janelle McComb, she sent me this. That's my old address, by the way, Spa Guy. Oh, and there's that, that's something else I want to get on to you about, about searching on the internet for relatives of mine and then calling and harassing them. And I'm going to play a voicemail from Spa Guy. Hey, Spa Guy, this is Janelle McComb. I'm calling to 
in just a minute. So everybody hang tight. So anyway, now this was fading at the time. Oh, and here's her, so hold on. Where is it? I don't want to lose this stuff. Okay, here it is. So there's the original label. But what I did is I made copies of everything. So you can see, hold up. Oh, that's not the one. Here it is. You can see the date that she sent it and the label right there. What does that, what does that label say? It's $17 and something. Let me look at them. I have to take it away from the camera. May 3rd, 2005. So she sent it to me May, June, May, June, July, two, two and a half months before she died, died. Not after, not after. Here's her original label, mailing label that was on the envelope. I saved that and put it in this protective sleeve. There's a copy of the photo. There's um, where she mailed it a few months before. What else do I need to show here? And oh, she sent me this book too. She sent me this book a few months before she died. And look what she wrote right here. Um, Wade, my best, my, she wrote, Wade, my best, Janelle McComb. And she must have smeared it, but there it is. She sent me this in that same envelope. And inside this book was the photo. She sent me this book and she wrote that to me. Okay. And do I need to show this again? All right. Do I need to show this again? There it is where she mailed it to me. Janelle McComb. There's her mailing label. So what is this? The slander. So I, he claims he owns a photo. Okay. We covered that. I also suspect he might not have got this photo from Janelle Mc... Oh, yeah, well, I was going to change that. He all, I also suspect he may not have received this photo from Janelle McComb. I corrected your English there in an honest manner. So I guess I stole it. No, she mailed it to me. And she mailed me this. She mailed me this, but this is a copy, which I sold a copy on eBay. And then I've got the original, and there's the mailing... Uh, uh, slip, the, the, the address slip thing that went on the front. Also, back then, hey, here's her home phone number. I don't mind putting it on here now because she's gone. And there's her mailing label. And there it is. Look, look on the back. I saved this. So, talk about slander. He claims to have gotten it in the mail after she passed away. Not sure how that works. Well, it doesn't work. Uh, I'm not going to say dumbass. It doesn't work. That's why she sent it to me before, and that's when I told Atlanta Nash. Just another person riding the hate the spa guy away for some views. Uh, well, you know what? I don't like being slandered by this dude. And I keep everything, dude. I keep it all. And while you were piddling around doing whatever you were doing in 2005, I was corresponding with Janelle McComb, okay, who babysat Elvis, all right? Now, on to the last thing. So instead of, hey, Wade, hey, Elvis Cup guy, you know, you got me cornered. I should have given you credit. It was your photo. It was, you know, I, I you know, I apologize. I'm going to give you credit. And, you know, hey, thank you for, for doing that. Let me get a boatload of views from using your photo. But no, 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 no. It's deny, I'm right, you're wrong. All of a sudden, you know, smoke and mirrors, copyright and all that. Just give me credit. But no, but you know what he did do? Instead of taking the time to write, to, to film a two-minute video saying, hey, hey, everything's cool. I give you credit. I appreciate it. Thank you. He spends that time looking up on the internet my relatives and called three different times. Um... Uh, yesterday, no, excuse me, the day before yesterday, uh, called one of my relatives and then called another relative and left a message on one of them's voicemail. And the other one, 
uh, another relative of mine, and I, I will. Sh the reason I'm not showing you the uh, screen capture of the phone call, one phone call was 45 seconds. The other one was a voicemail. Well, he called one time, hung up, and then left a voicemail again, which I'm going to play right now. But the reason I can't show you the um, uh, the screenshot of when he called is because it's on my phone, and my phone's right here filming me right now. But what I'm going to do is, first of all, let me just say this. Do not ever call any of my family. Nobody in my damn family or that knows me wants to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you, and they sure as hell don't want to talk to you. And I want you to listen carefully. When he leaves this voice message on a phone that he doesn't even know whose it is, he has the audacity, and I use that again, the audacity, to say, hey, this message is for Wade Jones, the Elvis Cup guy. Well, you know what? I was the Elvis Cup guy before you were the spa guy, which still doesn't make any damn sense to me what a damn spa guy is. You should have changed that four years ago. If you're going to do ride the Elvis wave, you should have changed that. That makes no damn sense. You know, I mean, you think of a bathhouse or something when you think of a spa or sauna. So anyway, but that's just a personal, nothing against him, but anyway... But when you tell me on a voice message, I need to call you. I don't need to call anybody. You don't tell me that. You need to call me. So here it is. I'm going to play it a few times because I guess it's mine because he left it for me. So here we go. Take one. I'm going to leave his phone number off, but you'll hear the area code. We all know he lives in uh, Tennessee. This message is for Wade Jones, the Elvis Cup guy. This is the spa guy. You need to call me. Six one. Okay, did you hear that? You need to call me. One more time, take two. This message is for Wade Jones, the Elvis Cup guy. This is the spa guy, you need to call me. Six, one. Did you hear that? Now that was left on a relative, a relative of mine on their voicemail. And uh, I need to call you. I don't need to call you. I do need to make this video though. Do not ever contact any, I will get a cease and desist for you, brother. Do not call any of my damn family. You got it? I am so ticked off at this crap. It started, and you know, I guess some people could consider this like a, a, a narcissist or whatever, where they just can't be cornered. They don't want to be cornered. They'd rather th cut off their arms than to eat crow. You know what I mean? And it's sickening. And, you know, he could have taken that time to say, hey, dude, everything's cool. I, you know, everything, you know, I, 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 I want to give you credit for that. Hey, I appreciate it, whatever. But no, one more time. This message is for Wade Jones, the Elvis Cup guy. This is the spa guy. You need to call me. You need to call me the Elvis Cup guy. That makes me sick. That makes me sick. Do not ever call anybody. Uh, in my family, or and nobody wants to talk to you, and I don't need to call you ever, and I don't plan to ever call you ever. So anyway, let me say I had a couple notes here. Anything else? I uh, don't need to call you for anything. I don't appreciate your tone, and my, my one relative said that you called him, and I've got it saved, the screenshot, where they were on the phone. You are on the phone with uh, a relative of mine for like 45 seconds, and it was a bad connection, they couldn't hear you that well, and you finally said, can I speak to, or he understood, he understood you to say, can I speak to Wade Jones? And the and he said, what? Who is this? And uh, or, or, who is it? Is it? Why would you ask who it is if you don't know who this is? And, and they said, well, you have the wrong number. Well, why would you do that? And being rude, to a relative of mine, then being disrespectful, being threatening. The, uh, this relative of mine said it was very threatening, the tone that they had on the phone with him. Now, not the, not the voicemail you just heard, but the actual phone conversation. And this relative of mine said, look, you got the wrong number and hung up, and they immediately called me. So that ticks me off. And let me just reiterate this. This was never about money. 
it all started, and it's it's the 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 moral of the thing. Okay, is all I did was I put a link to my video on his video where he used my photo, and he said I don't appreciate you advertising your video on my video in the comment section, and it was a video that he did about my photo. That started the whole thing, and man, he's like a, a Tasmanian devil in the corner, just cannot let it go. And then, dude, when you take your time to pay money to the white pages to get access to try to call somebody's cell phone number, you, that is ridiculous, and I'm not putting up with that. I'm telling you, that is where I draw the damn line. You know, all my videos have been about Copyright, you use my photo, you never gave me credit. Copyright, you use my photo, you never gave me credit. I did just have a couple videos where you cracked on the Smith family, my personal opinion, that I was not cool with that. But you know, it's free speech, you can do whatever you want. But when you start calling my damn family, that is where I draw the line. And just to close this video out, and you know, I'm glad I waited today because I was really pissed off last night. And I'm pissed off now. I got to slowly work myself up into it. But this is slander. This is slander. I suspect he might not have got this photo in an honest manner. What the hell does that mean? Dude, she mailed it to me. Hey, you didn't expect somebody to have that, did you? you I mean, you. I, I, I'm not going to call you an idiot. Look at that. Look at that date. The, the, the lady died two months later after she said it to me. Here's her home phone number I wrote down on a post-it note. I am so pissed. You know, now I'm pissed off again. God dang, he turned this little stupid thing, which I thought would be taken care of, like, hey, man, you're right. But no, 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 no. You cannot tell somebody with this type of personality disorder anything. So as a parting gift... Here's your your guy, Billy Stalling, Stallings, the spa guy. And by the way, if you join his Facebook page, and I, I, I recommend that you do. He's the moderator, and I think he drinks coffee, okay? But here it is. And that, thanks for the slander, bud, but don't ever call my damn family again. Ever. Here it is, one last time, Billy Stallings ordering me, you need to call me. What? Uh, that is so unreal. That really... And I hate making these stupid videos. I'm a big Elvis fan. I, I'm going to play this again. But listen, I saw the damn man, Elvis, okay? I saw him when I was 13 years old. I saw him get on the damn Lisa Marie jet and fly to Johnson City, Tennessee. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it take off and go toward Johnson City. I stood inside of Elvis's jet, not at damn Graceland. I'm talking about when it was parked at the Charlotte Douglas Municipal Airport. I stood in the doorway of the Lisa Marie, Convair 880. Two nights later, I saw Elvis Presley walk, walk, walk onto a damn stage when I was 13 years old, and I'll never forget it. I'm a true blue Elvis fan. I was an Elvis fan in 75, in 85, in 95, in 2005. Thank you, Janelle McComb, for mailing me that. But, oh, I guess I got it dishonest manner. 2005, 2015, and I'll be an Elvis fan in 2025 until eternity, okay? So, I do not appreciate being cracked on or anything. This whole thing started out about a photo and not acknowledging it. You're such a historian. And it you 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 twisted it and turned it into all this other stuff and copyright and fair use laws and everything's copyrighted that you deal with. But if it's mine and I've got damn just documentation, documentation, document there's her home phone number, documentation, her mailing label. I've got everything. Sony paid me, Vanity Fair paid me, okay? Everybody paid me, gave me credit. That book, the book that I did, uh, 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 the Elvis DNA genealogy book that you can watch in just my last other video, that guy gave me credit. 
e even in the index, even in the body of the book, in the chapter that's dedicated on my, to, to my photo. But you didn't, and you won't do it. And because I guess you're, I'm not saying you are this, but people that have that behavior, a lot of them are narcissists. Do you understand me? So, last thing I'm going to do is play this beautiful voicemail that he left a relative of mine telling me I need to call him. This message is for Wade Jones, the Elvis Cup guy. This is the spa guy. You need to call me. 615. Did you hear that? The Elvis Cup guy. Brother, I was the Elvis Cup guy in 2005. And like I said, go back and look. I'm going to put a link in the body of this video where you can go visit the original Elvis. Might be one of the first Elvis YouTube channels from 2005. And I am called the Elvis Cup guy. And you can watch interviews with me on TV where I'm the Elvis Cup guy in 2005. So sorry if imitation, I mean, if uh, imitation is flattery, then he imitated me because I was the uh, Elvis Cup guy 16 years ago. And I had the cup since I was 13 in 1977 when I got it from the Elvis concert. Elvis drank out of it, watched my other videos. Elvis Presley drank from that cup and I still own it. That's why I am the Elvis Cup guy. So, hey, one last time. I, it, this really is, is, is something that should not get me fired up, and I shouldn't get fired up like this, but I'm going to play it one more time. Here he goes. Ready? Remember, I need to call him. This message is for Wade Jones, the Elvis Cup guy. This is the spa guy. You need to call me. 615. Did you hear that? Anyway, this is the Elvis Cup guy. I hate making, well, you know, I really don't hate making them. It, it helps me get some of the frustration out, but I did not want to make this. I like to make regular Elvis videos, okay? I'm a huge Elvis fan, huge, huge Elvis fan, all right? But do not call my damn relatives again. You got it? And I'm the Elvis Cup guy, and I'm out of here.